So we decided to drop by the corner of Spear and Mountain Streets here in Carson City to show you one of the most famous houses in town. It was built in 1914 and inhabited by a doctor, but it's also a movie set used in a Western film 44 years ago. You may have heard of it, it's called The Shootist. It was in 1975 that actor John Wayne, Ron Howard, Lauren Bacall, all these Hollywood legends were here to film his last film, The Shootist. Now, Dino De Laurentiis presents perhaps the greatest Western of them all, The Shootist, the story of John Bernard Books, the last of the great gunfighters. When I first saw The Shootist, I thought that this movie was out in the rural part of Nevada. I didn't realize that it was in the city. The truth is that the next block over is the governor's mansion, built in 1908. For two weeks, it was the buzz of the town. John Wayne came here to film his last movie with Ron Howard and Lauren Bacall. Carson City being a small town, word spread pretty quickly that John Wayne was here, so people flocked over here to Gawk, and some lucky folks even got to take their picture with all the stars in the movie, including John Wayne riding up to that house on a horse. Well, I heard that you were in town for a very short time. That's true. Word also spread that the stars were staying at the Ormsby house, which is coincidentally named after Major William Ormsby. He was killed in the Pyramid Lake War against the Paiutes in 1860. There's a plaque out in front here. That's Ron Howard getting the saddle ready. Here's John Wayne, Lauren Bacall, Ron Howard, the film crew here. It says, Nevada celebrates filmmaking, The Shootist. The Shootist house built in 1914 was the boarding house operated by landlady Lauren Bacall and last stop for aging gunfighter John Wayne. John Wayne's last movie. Jimmy Sturt was also in that film, but I don't think he was here. In The Shootist, John Wayne plays an aging gunfighter, J.B. Books, who finds out he's facing his own mortality. He has cancer and naturally he's afraid of dying. All right, you have a cancer, advanced. John Wayne probably had no idea when he was here that he was shooting his last Hollywood film. Of course he got cancer and I believe he died in 1979. I'm a dying man, scared of the dark. In real life, John Wayne already had a bout with lung cancer and had lung removed. So when he was here in Carson City, he struggled with the high altitude and needed oxygen. In fact, he even had a full-time nurse tending to him. Making matters worse was that he got a bad case of the flu which shut down production for two weeks. After Stewart informs Wayne that he is dying of cancer, he's directed to the sporting house, which is this house in the film. Now you'll have to get off your feet and get some rest. Have you made any kind of arrangements for a room or anything? No, Doc. I, I just got in town. Uh -huh. well, you might try the widow Rogers. She, she got a place down the street here, a fair piece. She takes in lodgers. And she's a nice woman. She needs the help. Give it a try. Lauren Bacall plays the tough widow Rogers. When my lodgers find out who you are, they'll leave. I have a cancer. I'm dying of it. Widow Rogers has a kind of affection for books. The tenderness is reflected during a buggy ride shot in nearby Washu Lake State Park, shot near these trees. Don't you have enough worries of your own? A few, but in general, I've had a hell of a good time. Tell me, uh, what does the JB stand for? John Bernard. Yours? Bond. That's a crackerjack of a name for a woman. Of course, she was the actress who stirred up a fair amount of controversy in 1945 when she sat atop a piano, dangling her legs over as President Truman played a tune. Over here is a sign indicating that it's the Dr. E.T. Krebs house built in 1914. I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a John Wayne cutout in the second story window. 
Henry Winkler, who was friends of Ron Howard's and in the Happy Days together, actually came here when they were filming this movie so he could visit with Ron Howard. I could see the residents in the back are sunning themselves by their pool. So this is far from the ranch house that kind of is portrayed in the movie. We're not gonna even try to go up to the front of it because it's private property. These trees were a lot smaller when John Wayne was here, but I've seen pictures of him out here in the front with his horse. This scene here was actually shot across the street from the mansion. This here is a stepping stone. When you got out of carriages, you needed a raised platform to step off, and this is one of them. John Wayne may have even used it. There was action out here on the street where Sarah is sitting in the car. This is a photo of Wayne and Bacall and Howard shooting a scene on the street. And that house and garage on the other side of the street are still here. While most of the town scenes were shot at a back lot in Burbank, rails were brought in and laid down on Mountain Street so this rail car could be rolled in for a scene. John Wayne expressed optimism about his last film. When you have a good personal story and you feel everything fits together, yeah. then's when you're relaxed. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's really a torture to work in a picture that you feel isn't going to be good and, and that you're a pawn in somebody's hand doing this thing. But I think this is going to be a good one. 500 North Mountain Street, if you want to check it out in Carson City. In case you're wondering about the location of the opening scene where J.B. Books is robbed, it was shot on a Douglas County ranch near David Wally's Hot Springs Resort. Take it a little easy with that cannon, mister. Just throw me your wallet. Yes, sir. A little something extra. That murdered me. No, but you're going to have a long winter bellyache, you boob. Give me that wallet. Just the wallet. I can hardly move. You done shot a hole in my stomach. I appreciate that. You ain't going to leave me here. Well, it's quite obvious that's what you were going to do to me. Get out of the way. Mister, you better find yourself another line of work. This one sure don't fit your pistol. It's also reported that John Wayne rented out the historic Genoa bar for drinking parties. Curiously, the wall of the saloon has a bra belonging to Raquel Welch. Diehard John Wayne fans will be pleased to know that the Western Film Museum in Lone Pine, California displays the jacket worn by Wayne in his very last film scene. The same one seen here. Uh, How do you like the red buttonholes? Oh, yeah. I remember him, red button. <laughs> John Wayne remains the quintessential American film actor. Nobody has topped him. He was the definition of an American patriot, a screen hero who commanded the respect of millions for his bravery and his masculinity. Tragically, cancer reduced this giant of an American to a shell of what he once was when he started out acting 49 years earlier. He died on June 11, 1979. Carson City is a fitting place for John Wayne's last role in films. If you want to feel a stronger connection to the larger-than-life actor, take a trip down to 500 Mountain Street in Carson City and just stand silently and remember.